Hello guys, welcome to episode 2 of Just the Tip, and this is hopefully going to be a longer video than the last time, and today I'm going to be covered the simple basics of making a space plane. Now a space plane starts off horizontally as opposed to a vertical rocket, and, based, and um, flies based on aerodynamics. So essentially you have a lot of things to ca factor in. You have to fire, factor in, I'm sorry, I can't speak today. You have to factor in aerodynamics, you have to factor in weight of the rocket, thrust, etc, etc. And hopefully I'll be giving you a few tricks to making space planes that you didn't know before, and you'll be able to work from there. Now I start off with these heavy fuel tanks, even though they're not the ones that generally work with um, space plane jets. I mean, they do work with space plane jets. They're just much heavier and meant for rockets as opposed to air-breathing engines. But air-breathing engines use up so, few, so little fuel, but they can only um, fly efficiently at about, you know, uh, around 13 kilometers above the above sea level. So I tend to uh, put in extra, you know, rockets with, uh, you know, thrust, non-airbringing rockets, in case you want to take your rocket uh, plane higher in the atmosphere. Sorry, I really am having a hard time talking today. Now, one thing that's very important is the symmetry tool, because that allows you to put things on sideways, but that's, you know, a very routine you know, operation, and most of you, I'm sure, would know about it. Uh, I find putting on a, an SAS module in the back does serve to keep your rocket stable, and it does work very well. And uh, one thing that I noticed is um, sometimes it's very, very difficult to uh, make your rocket, you know, fly straight. Sometimes it's very unstable, it starts flipping, and uh, that's one of the key problems you have to combat. Now, I find one of the best ways to uh, fix that is have your rocket, you know, vertically symmetrical, not just horizontally symmetrical. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. But uh, let's start out by putting on wings on the side. Oop. Now I plan to have this, you know, as a, a two jet plane. So we're going to have jets on the side, and I'll put on... Uh, um, let's try to keep it light. We already have such a, a massive fuselage in the center. So let's just keep the light engines on. All right, that looks good. And oh, uh, anything else that we'd like to add? Uh, the air breathers on the front, just to, if anything, just to make them look nice. Uh, I find the new pages on the screen sometimes a little difficult to navigate sometimes because you forget which page you're on, and when you're shifting through very quickly, you forget what you're looking for. And now from here, what I like to do is I like to put on these jet rockets and then put on these right after and from there you can put on no not these these air breathers right. now from there planes looking not too bad so far really nice actually it's coming together well um, and then from there we'll put on these make it a nice fat sideways plane so it's looking good so far but also if you notice from side point you know it's the very same up and down as it is from you know, left to right. Like you can see, I've been putting everything on both sides similarly, but I'm also not building up and downwards differently either. And there's another example of that in a minute. What I'm going to do is, um, when I put stabilizers on the back of the plane, I also tend to put them there, and I tend to put similar ones there. And this works well instead of a tail wing because it get, does give you the um, like the the rotating stability. But also, it keeps you, you know, up, down, horizontal, so your jets are basically always going to be thrusting at the center of mass of your rocket on both sides. So the force will be evenly distributed over your rocket, and so you don't end up flipping when uh, you start losing atmospheric resistance on the jets and the wings. Now from here, like, fuel does not throw flow, I'm sorry, through these jets in the back, so what you need to do is you actually need to connect the fuselage here directly to the jets, and that will allow fuel to throw, flow from there to there. And lastly, I can connect them again, from these jets to here on the back. There you go. So now we have two stages of fuel. And one final thing we should add. Uh, let's see, you want to add a tail wing just to give it fuel. Right, and you can use the A, S, D, and W keys to rotate parts around, as you see here. And the Q and E are for, you know, turn like rotating it. That works too. And I can put on a little tail wing to make it look nice. A little tail cone. Let's see, what does this even do? Hmm, just a nose cap. Now from here, you'll notice we need to put wheels on. Um, put 
one on the front, or one on the back, I'm sorry, and one on the front, and two on each wing. And that'll be an extremely stable rocket for takeoff. And let's see, anything else we'd like to add? Um, I'll add one more thing. I'm going to turn off the snap to angles, and then I'm going to put another wing stacked up above and below these. Hang on a second. Oh, which one would I like to use? Here we are. So now we can put on these wings just above these, and they'll add a little bit aerodynamics to the wing, get a little more lift for our thrust. And that sounded actually kind of dirty. And equally below, because we want to make it aerodynamically stable and symmetrical up, down, not just left, right. So there we go. Looks nice. Kind of looks like, you know, the rocket could go either way if it wanted to. <laughs> Got two heads. But now let's do a quick launch and I'll show you how this looks. How it looks on takeoff, how stable it is. So here we are on the runway. Pardon the little cutout right there. And uh, so I just started up the rocket and fired and let's see how far we can go. Going pretty fast, which is excellent so far. Uh, already up to 53 meters per second. And I'm not not fan of how much this lags on my computer, but hey, I, I only have so many processors <laughs> that can run this game. So we hit the end of the runway, we tilt up a little bit. That's a nice, nice stable takeoff. You see we're flowing up nicely. And uh, now that we're off the ground, I can, once we stop lagging, I can zoom in, I can show you the landing gear and such. But you can see in the landing gear the wheels are spinning, and we hold down the B button, it'll break them. And that's used for landing when you want to slow yourself down as well. Hold down the B button or tap it if you want to not crash and it will slow your plane down. Now that we'll laser stop, I will raise the landing gear. And I absolutely love the detail that they put into that and I wish it didn't show all is lagging. Here, let's try again. Oh, it lags every time I do, so I'm going to uh, pull them up and they'll be done with it. But I, I absolutely love the attention to detail they put into the wheels. So, um... Now, for briefness sake, brevity sake, I will uh, show you, say, say you're in the upper atmosphere and you your uh, engines, atmospheric engines, are starting to fail. Hit the space bar to release them and launch your secondary engines, and that'll give you increased thrust and functionality when air is thin. And here we are, guys, coming in for a landing. I apologize for the lag. That happens when I start up frags. Fraps. So you keep your nose up a little bit, you have your landing gear out, and you can basically just let it glide in on its own. It's that simple to land a space plane. And here we go. Nice and simple. Down. It's lagging a little bit, but we're safe. And uh, I'm going to tap B a little bit to slow ourselves down. And there, we are down for a nice landing. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Just the Tip. Uh, this time we focused on space planes. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like. Oh, <laughs> I can't talk. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a rate, comment, sub, favorite, etc. Do what you feel the video deserves, and I hope you guys have a nice day. Just a freaking way out. Peace.